got it. What do you believe in, huh? What do you believe in? I believe whatever doesn't kill you simply makes you a stranger. Now, one of the most greatest comic book icons of all time is none other than Batman's biggest rival. You may know him as the Joker. I mean, his creepy mysterious nature is what drives us comic book fans to fall in love with his character. I mean, with him being consistently voted as one of the top supervillains throughout all of comic book history, I knew I just had to create a character breakdown on him. Now, as I was watching The Dark Knight again recently, I started to view the Joker from a different angle. I started to analyse him in a way to which I have never looked at him before and it had me questioning myself. Is the Joker just a psychotic lunatic that simply loves reigning terror. Got everything burns. <laughs> or deep down, is there a method to all his madness? <laughs> You're crazy. I'm not. No, I'm not. Is there something that us entrepreneurs can take away from the Joker? in order to benefit our lives, our businesses, and in ourselves. Well, stay tuned to find out, as in this video, we're going to dive deep into the method to the madness of the Joker. This is Aaron, this is the Golden Knowledge, and this is why the Joker would make such a great businessman. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are tonight's entertainment. Now, just to clarify, the Joker that I will be referring to in this video is the Heath Ledger Joker from The Dark Knight. But if you want me to also break down Joaquin Phoenix's Joker, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and smash that like button to let me know. (laughs) Now... People don't like it when I refer to business as war. I mean, people love the idea of if we all help each other out, we can all succeed together, guys. We don't need to compete with each other. Let's help all each other out. But the reality is, if you are going into business, you are more than likely going to be facing a very competitive marketplace. Now, there are going to be two limiting factors that will stop you from succeeding. Number one, being the quality of your product. And number two, the strength of the competition you face. Now, regardless of how good your product is, you are always going to be facing some sort of competition. And if you're afraid of that, then business is not for you. We can picture it like a game of chess. Your goal as a player or company is trying to outmaneuver your opponent's mind in exchange for a larger share of the marketplace. I try to show the schemers how pathetic their attempts to control things really are. So... When I say, uh, come here. When I say that you and your girlfriend was nothing personal, you know that I'm telling the truth. This is what business is all about. I.e., you want to exert more control over the game. As the more control you have, the more power you have. More control equals more power, which equals more profit. But in order to do that, a businessman must be able to equip themselves with an arsenal of strategies to launch against their opponent, with the sole purpose of gaining more control over 
the marketplace. This is where the Joker's concept of using chaos as a strategy can work in your favour by using the 17th law of power. Introduce a little anarchy. Upset the established order and everything becomes chaos. Keep others in suspended terror by cultivating an air of unpredictability. Human beings are natural creatures of habit with an insatiable need to see familiarity in other people's actions. This predictability can give your opponents a strong sense of control over you. If they know what you're going to do before you even know what to do, then you're at a huge disadvantage. Imagine a stronger competitor knows that you are developing a new groundbreaking product. With them being armed with this knowledge, they could easily try beat you to the marketplace by developing their own version of the product. And especially if you're a much smaller company, then your chances of success decrease by tenfold. To tackle this problem, you must turn the tables by being deliberately unpredictable. Behavior that seems to have no consistency or purpose will keep your opponents off balance and they will wear themselves out trying to explain your moves. You know what I am? I'm a dog chasing cars. I wouldn't know what to do with one if I caught it. You know, I just do things. Taken to the extreme, this strategy can intimidate and terrorize. The Joker at first seems to be a crazy buffoon, but in reality, there is a genius to his madness. The villain seems to come out of nowhere, but within a very short amount of time, he was able to rise to the top of Gotham's underworld. And this is why the Joker would make such a sick businessman, as he uses this law to the fullest, in order to take control of nearly any given situation that he faces in Gotham City. Take a look at this scene where he first introduces himself to the bosses of Gotham's underworld. His goal is to broker a deal with the bosses to bring down the Batman. But in order to do so, he first needs to establish control. I'm gonna make this pencil. It's, it's gone. Oh, and by the way, the suit, it wasn't cheap. You ought to know, you bought it. Sit. I want to hear proposition. We can see how once this happens, the whole dynamic of the room changes. The control has shifted from the boss's hands to the Joker's allowing him to propose his idea of taking down the Batman in exchange for a substantial fee from a place of much higher authority. If it's so simple, why haven't you done it already? If you're good at something, never do it for free. How much you want? Uh, half. <laughs> you're crazy. I mean, it seems contradictory at first, but as we see throughout the film, the Joker continues to exert this level of control over the underworld, over the GCPD, and even over Batman himself, through his strategy of being unpredictable. I mean, he does so much crazy shit that doesn't seem to make any sense on the surface. However, as we look deeper as the story goes on, 
we see these strings of events tied together, which eventually creates the end result to him becoming one of the most powerfulest criminals in the whole of Gotham. All you care about is money. This town deserves a better class of criminal. And I'm gonna give it to him. Tell your men they work for me now. This is my city. They won't work for the freak. Why don't we cut you up into little pieces and feed you to your pooches? Hmm? And then we'll see how loyal a hungry dog really is. It's not about money. It's about sending a message. Everything burns. He's not doing any of this shit for the money. He's doing it to prove a point. He's ironically controlling the chaos that goes on in his opponent's mind. Whether that's the other criminals, the GCPD, or Batman himself, which is what grants him the leverage to make his battles against people that much more easier. No matter how crazy stuff gets, whether that's getting threatened by criminals, targeted by law enforcement, or even breaking out of prison, the Joker always seems to be in control of the dynamic. And he's navigating the board on his own terms. This is why he would make a great businessman. Because he is a master at exerting his control over the board. Nothing is more terrifying than something sudden and unpredictable. That is why we are so frightened by natural disasters, because we don't know when they will strike. We as human beings are the only creatures that have the ability to consciously alter our behaviours, to improvise and overcome the weight of routine and habit. When we break it down, the Joker doesn't have any supernatural powers. He is nothing more than just a scrawny man. But he is consistently viewed as one of the most troublesome villains throughout every superhero universe. What his superpower can be seen as is being able to get into and intimidate his opponent's mind by being unpredictable. And by doing so, he is able to exert more control over the marketplace. Let her go. Very poor choice of words. <laughs> now, this is not to say that you should go around blowing up buildings and killing innocent people to gain control of something. But the strategy of throwing completely inexplicable moves can really help you get into the minds of your opponent and help you exert more control over them. I mean, we see this all the time, whether that's in work or sports or in business. This strategy not only applies to these situations, but it also applies to everyday situations. People are always trying to read the motives behind your actions and to use your predictability against you. In order to tackle this, what you must do every now and again is to throw a couple of inexplicable moves. Using this strategy will put your opponent on the defense because if they can't understand you, then they will get nervous, chaos, or start circulating in their minds. Creating a state which you can easily intimidate. But be aware, this law is to cultivate an air of unpredictability. Too much unpredictability is actually not effective, as you'll just be seen as weak or as indecisive. Patterns are powerful, and you can terrify people by disrupting them. 
the Joker has a very unique way of using chaos in a way where in the midst of it all, he is eerily calm as he is the one that is in control of all the chaos itself. So the main takeaway from the Joker is the fact that the way we can exert more control over the marketplace is by being able to control the chaos in our opponent's minds. By throwing a few unpredictable moves every now and again. While your opponents waste time on trying to calculate what you're up to, you will be the one that is able to challenge their market dominance and solidify yourself as the better person and as the better company. This is the way you will be able to exert more control in the marketplace. And this is the way you will be able to accumulate more power in your life. Now, if you like this video, make sure you smash that like button and leave a comment below on what your thoughts about the Joker are. And if you are new to the channel, welcome to the channel and to all our loyal subscribers, we are glad you are here. We do some of the best character breakdowns on the whole of YouTube and we aim to produce at least one high quality animated video per week. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any golden knowledge. I'll see you soon.